Well, hey guys, what is up? What is going on out there this morning? Hey, it's Brent Abel here at webtennis.com. I'm doing a pre-record because I am unavailable this morning at 8 a.m. Pacific time zone. So this is going to be a shorty, but a goodie. And uh, what we're going to do in this episode of What's the Right Shot is we're going to turn some defense into offense. Hope you guys are having a great start to your day so far. I'm here in the California desert, uh, Rancho Mirage, California, by Palm Springs, and Mission Hills Country Club. Another, God dang it, February day. What are we, 78, 79 degrees forecast today? All good. All good. All right. So here we go. Um, we're going to look at a point that we've seen uh, quite a while ago, but uh, I, I want to kind of point something out that um, – that is just classic in, in doubles that you can take, you can take something like this and you can turn it into, into offense. This is obviously a defensive position. Look guys, before we get in, into it today, uh, where we, this next few days, I've got a, a very special offer on my tennis specific fitness program. It's in your email. If you're not on my email list, go on over to Brent, uh, Brent, go on over to webtennis.com, drop in the first name and email address. Not only will you get a free course, but you get on my uh, email list as well, and you'll get notified with the special offer I've got for my tennis specific fitness, what I do on the court training, what I do off the court training, and what I do in the kitchen diet wise. Um, that really helps. So, uh, let's get into it. And, um, so, we're going to miss the first serve. Yours truly with the serve. And then uh, Paul Wolf with um, second serve return lob. And, you know, my whole thinking here is just simply I don't really have an opportunity because I know that my partner, Chris, I, I don't know if he's going to be able to clear out what have I got available to me. Do I drive it? Probably not. I'm too far back. And so – I'm just thinking height, right? I'm thinking height. I want to buy some time for Chris and I to kind of get settled into some decent defensive positions, right? And so the first thing is going to be height. And one thing I want you to notice here is with the technique of this lob is that it's really not, you don't need a topper. You just need a flat, a flat get under the ball and just, just extend your arm straight up through the ball and and carry it up there, right? You don't need to flick at this thing. You just need to kind of get it into the string bed and let it settle in, kind of compress against the string bed, the ball, and then get it up there. And now what you do is now you've bought a little bit of time with just some height, and now what you do is you start to measure, well, what's the depth going to be? And once, you, once you've determined, oh, this is better than what I intended, uh, it's not going to be an overhead. Opponent's going to have to let it bounce. And so now we've just turned, we've just turned a defensive position into both of us coming up to net and being now we are the ones who've got the offensive position. So, you know, that's really kind of the message on, on this point. I'm just going to finish this point off here um, is that initially when you're playing a lob um, it's, it's probably going to be, if you're in a defensive position, just think height. Just get as much height up there as you possibly can. Let's go back. We'll play the whole point from the second serve and uh, give you the flavor of it. But, yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to feel that let's go, let's go height first and then to be able to buy some time to kind of get organized. And then we'll, from there we'll measure the depth. If the depth is really good, all right even better than we expected. And now we get to come in and, uh, and see what we can do. This little volley by me here, not the most intelligent. I escaped out of it, which was okay. Um, and there's your Chris Morgan with the, with the put away. So anyway, hopefully that makes sense guys with, with the defensive lob, how to turn it into offense and sometimes it's an unintended opportunity. Too often what I see is you go back on that lob, you play a defensive high lob, you guys get settled in to defend, and then it's a great lob, it's deep, but you don't move in. So 
you got to take advantage of switching up that core position going from defense to offense. So, uh, look, every uh, afternoon I'm going live with the Tennis Mindset Project. I will be this afternoon at 2.30 p.m. Pacific. Um, yeah, look forward to seeing you there. And uh, what else have we got here? Uh, yeah, if you love today's little mini episode, just like it, subscribe, click that notification bell so you get updated. And then, uh, look, um, if you're a tournament player, and this is really more for tournament players, um, you've, you've, you've really got to start to deal with reality, which is part of being a tournament player is you got to really work on your mindset skills. And the big difference between a practice match and a real match, especially tournament matches, is just levels of stress. When you bring too much stress into a tournament match, which typically happens when you know the practice matches were pretty relaxed, but whether it's a league match or a tournament match, we bring in the level of stress. And that ends up meaning that, that we just don't have the right clarity. We don't have the right focus. When you learn how to control your stress in those matches that count, where the, where the results can be made public, you have less to no stress, and that equals clarity of how do you want to start the next point and then shot choice uh, and core position during the point itself. If you haven't taken a look, I invite you to do so. The link is down below. If you're over on YouTube, it's down below in the uh, description area. It will take you over to uh, where you can take uh, a look at, get some more information on this course. It's the five mindset skills habit training course. It's a 28 day course down below. Click the link, check it out and uh, hopefully see you inside the course. Guys, any questions, any remarks, any comments down below in the comments area, let me know. Or if you want to keep the conversation private, no sweat, just shoot me an email, brent at webtennis.com. Guys, hope this has been helpful today. Thanks for hanging out. As always, it's time to get out there, help someone else have a great day. Guys, see you again next time.